All right, we're going to talk about geometric transformations. We're on day four, so the fourth uh, episode of this, and the final day. We're going to talk about rotations, otherwise known as a spin. All right, so a rotation is just a transformation in a plane or in a space that describes the motion of a figure around a given point. Uh, we can rotate something two different ways. We can rotate it clockwise, which just means we're going to rotate it to the right. Uh, so 90 degrees is one quadrant, 182 quadrants, 273 quadrants. So just like a clock, if we were to think about this, we have a clock, and if this is 12, 3, 6, and 9 on the clock, we start at 12, that goes clockwise to the right. That's the way the hands go, it's to the right. So our other one is counterclockwise, and that's just when it goes to the left. So again, uh, 90 degrees, one quadrant, 182 quadrants, uh, 374, three quadrants. So clockwise is to the right, counterclockwise to the left. Rotation is just a transformation of around a given point uh, that we rotate an entire figure. So if I take a look at this. Uh, this says, how can we rotate a polygon about the origin? We're going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. So first step we're going to do is we're going to write down the ordered pair for each point. So A, we went one right, one up, so that's one, one. B, we went one, two, three right, one up, so that's three, one. And C, we went three right and one, two, three, four up, so that's three, four. All right, so that's step one. We just plotted all our points. All right, step two is we're just going to figure out what quadrant we're going to be in. So if I'm going 90 degrees clockwise, remember clockwise is to the right. So these are going to move, I'm going to move into that quadrant. All right. So, since we are going, we are rotating our shape 90 degrees clockwise, we'll end up in quadrant 4. So remember this is quadrant 4, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4. So 90 degrees clockwise will put me in quadrant 4. Alright, step 3 is to rotate our entire paper the opposite way um, of the degree. So if I'm going to rotate it the opposite way of the degree, we're rotating it clockwise, which is to the right 90 degrees. So we are going to now rotate our paper one turn to the left, because that's the opposite way. So after you've rotated it, your, pa your shape's now going to look like this. So it was over here, and you rotate it. So this is the x-axis. So the x-axis is now the up and down. The y-axis is left and right, and your shape's going to look um, like, oops, yeah, like this. Okay. All right. So, so if we look now, if we go to step three, or I'm sorry, step four, step four is we're going to use our original. Original ordered pairs, and we're going to plot the points again. So 1, 1, 3, 1, 3, 4. So what that's going to look like is this. So we've rotated our picture here. So here's our shape, our original shape way over here. And we just plotted our points again. So A was 1, 1, so we went 1, 1. Okay, 5, 3, 1, 3 to the right, 1 up. C, 3 to the right, 4 up. And remember, since we moved them, we call those primes. Right? So all we did was we rotated our entire paper the opposite way of the degrees. Since this was clockwise, and that's to the right, we're going to turn our paper to the left. And since it was 90 degrees, that means just one turn. So then we just replotted our points we had. All right, step five is you're going to rotate your paper back to its original position, and then find the ordered pairs. So now A prime is at 1, negative 1. B prime is at 1, negative 3 and C prime is at 4, negative 3. All right. So now, if you notice, when you connect the two points, A and A prime, they form a 90 degree angle, which is what we wanted to rotate by. Okay, so if you were to draw through the origin, um, and you connected B to the origin and B prime to the origin, 90 degrees. Same thing with C. You connected C over here, it would be um, directly 90 degrees. All right, this one we're going to rotate 270 degrees. So first things first, we're going to figure out all my coordinates. 
Um, and then we're going to, and we know we're going to end up in quadrant one because we're going counterclockwise. So 270 makes me go one, two, three. So I'm going to end up right there. So find out my coordinates. Rotate my paper. Since we're going 270 counterclockwise, that means I'm going to spin to the right because counterclockwise is to the left. So we spin the opposite way. So that's to the right. So three turns. Um, so now quadrant one should now be in the position of the original shape. Um, now just reply your points. So if I was to turn it, this is how it would look. I'd replot my points right here. So and then I would take a look, take my shape back, and then just write down what my new points were. All right. Uh, let's give this one a try. So first things first, I wrote down already what the uh, originals are here. And I want to rotate this 180 degrees clockwise. So clockwise is to the right. So that means I'm going to go 180 degrees and I'm going to end up right there. Alright, so if I do that, now if I rotate my paper 180 degrees clockwise, clockwise is to the right. So I'm going to spin my paper 2 to the left and then replot my points. So once I did that, I'll have my points right here. I'm going to connect them. And I'm going to get A prime negative 2, 1, B prime negative 1, 6, and C prime negative 4, 6. Uh, you may have noticed that whenever you flip something 180 degrees, the signs flip between both of them. So this was 2, negative 1, so it becomes negative 2, positive 1. This is 1, negative 6, so it becomes negative 1, positive 6, and C would be negative 4, positive 6. Now that only works when you're rotating by 180 degrees. Because if, if you thought about it, if you spun 180 degrees, you're just facing the opposite way. Alright, so go ahead and give these a try um, on your paper. And come on back when you're ready. Alright, welcome back. So rotate 90 degrees. Uh, we are going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So that means that it's going to end up in this quadrant. Um, and after you plotted your stuff, you would look like that. All right, over here, you're rotating 90 degrees counterclockwise, so that's going to be to the left, so we're going this way. So that's how it would look after I replotted that one. All right, so again, remember, you just rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, so we're going to plot our original points. So all the blue points, you need to write down your ordered pairs. Draw an arrow to figure out which quadrant you're going to be in. And then, since it was 90 degrees counterclockwise, counterclockwise is left, so we're going to rotate our paper one to the right, and then replot our points, turn it back to its original, and then um, just write down my new order pairs. All right, 180 degrees, so this one's just going to be opposite. So I'm going to end up um, down here. So your shape's going to look like this after it's done. And this one's 90 degrees counterclockwise. So this guy's going to end up right there. And my shape's going to look like that after I'm done. Alright, so that was rotations. So remember, rotations, step one is plot all your points of your original shape. Step two is you're going to draw an arrow to figure out what quadrant you're going to be in. Step three rotate your paper the opposite way you're rotating the shape so if you're rotating the shape 90 degrees clockwise the clockwise is to the right so that means you're going to rotate your paper to the left and 90 degrees is one turn so you're turning it one time to the left and then your step four is you're going to replot the points step five turn it back to its original position and plot your new primes all right so i hope that helped uh, if you have any questions, please come on in and ask.